Imperial favor is the main currency for End of Dragons. And in this guide, I will show you the best ways to make gold from Imperial favor in Guild Wars 2. The Imperial favor vendor can be found inside this building, which is close to the monastery waypoint. After we finish the weekly Jade Vault achievement, we can buy items from the vendor. In the first tab, we can buy those four chests and they will cost 200 Imperial favor each. And you can buy up to a maximum of five chests per week for each one of them. Based on the current market prices, the average profit from them will be between 30 to 50 silvers per chest. You should also know that they contain some valuable items as a very rare drop like the tier 3 module upgrades and the dragon void infusion which sells for thousands of gold on the trading post. But this infusion has an extremely low drop rate and you will most likely not get it even if you open thousands of chests. From the other three tabs we can buy antique armor that costs some imperial favor and research notes. The armor can be sold on the trading post for profit and based on the current prices the average profit is about 1 gold and 30 silvers per item. The only exceptions are the leggings and coat, as you will make less profit from them since they cost more imperial favor and research notes. Those numbers apply to all armor in all weights in the three tabs. From Levis in Arbor Stone, we can buy one antique summoning stone for 100 Imperial Favor. It sells for a very good price on the trading post and you will make a lot of profit from that item. But you can only buy one stone per week using Imperial Favor and once you buy it, you cannot do that again until next week. And to unlock this tab and be able to buy those items, you must have the Globalization Mastery in the Arbor Stone section. The last and best way to make gold from Imperial Favor is to craft the precursors for the Generation 3 Urin legendary weapons. This is something I explained in details in a different guide. You will find the link for it and other related guides in the description below. So make sure to check them out. If you found this guide helpful, please subscribe to support the channel and see more guides in the future. Thank you very much and I will see you in the next guide.